Matty, um, David Teague was meant to have a chat this morning. You're stepping in. Is he obviously still a, a bit too raw to deal with it? Uh, no, he's just uh, spending some time with his family today and he'll be, uh, he'll be over with us uh, tonight. How do you expect the boys to respond? It's been a very tough week. you think they'll all be, all be OK? Yeah, I do. I think it's, uh, it's obviously been an enormously challenging period, but um, I guess the group's been really resilient. Uh, the way they attacked the, the training week has been really heartening because they've... Uh, Clearly, we we're all dealing with, uh, with the emotion of, the, of what's gone on, um, but ultimately they've, they've trained really well, they've prepared as well as they can, and, uh, and I think obviously they're really keen to perform uh, at the level that, uh, that we all want to. Yeah, ultimately I think we sort of, obviously we've had enormous support you know, internally and, and also externally, but uh, we uh, we made an assessment that everyone was in pretty good space. They they trained really strongly. Uh, ultimately, you know, you know you don't know until they run out, but uh, we're, we're really confident they're they're going to be in a, in a headspace to be able to compete. Obviously, Craig, last one, very big injuries after his body. Yeah, so a couple of us went down. Um, obviously, because uh, you know it was a, a, an important occasion, but also we're playing next week, so. Uh, but yeah, the tribute following the match was uh, was a continuation of what's been, um, you know, an overwhelming response from the footy community, and I think uh, you know it's uh, everyone's handled the circumstance with just enormous respect and class, and that was uh, another example. Of it. The game, and during the game, they talked about what Phil Walsh would have wanted the type of footy. Is that something that you will talk about or have talked about? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's pretty hard to avoid that, that uh, and we have. You know, we've reflected on that already. Um, I think leading into the game, we're going to have to try and be uh, as clear and and, uh, and focused on the performance in front of us. But that'll that'll mean uh, performing in a way that Walshie would have uh, would have wanted. And uh, yeah, I know there's a, an enormous focus amongst the group to do that. Do you message me? Given the usual do you simplify the message at all? Um, game yeah, as much normality as possible. There's still uh, still a game of footy to be won, uh, and there are elements of strategy which are necessary. Uh, but uh, one of the one of the group's real strengths this year is to have a, a pretty simple focus, a real clarity around how we go about it, and, uh, and that'll continue. Yeah, you were on the coverage last night. You put a whole lot of um, Phil Walsh's best one-liners up on the whiteboard during the week. Does that help the players? Yeah, it was good to have a laugh <laughs> because uh, obviously it's been a, a really challenging week. But that certainly. Uh, uh, brought a bit of humour to the uh, situation because he uh, he, did, he had a few good one liners and uh, and we reflected on that and it you know perhaps uh, broke the ice and let us let us get back to business. So. What was good? What were his best fit? Most of them you probably can't repeat on here. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, look, you know I think the one that, the one thing over the weekend and over the week uh, is seeing the other other football teams out there and uh, Walsh's well, language comes through pretty strongly and, uh, and, and so a lot of those have, have stuck with us as well. We probably got him we got the got him at the end of his journey and so we had we've got the condensed version of all his uh, greatest hits. <laughs> uh, Riley Knight to make his debut as well. Yeah, yeah so great uh, great uh, for Riley. Uh, you know, he was uh, obviously really challenging circumstance he was selected last week. Uh, but he's he's in on form, he's in to play a role. Uh, and we're, we're really confident that he'll do well. He's a, you know, he's a really strong individual. He'll be, he'll be fine. Well, guys, so, what's, so, what's, so, what's the biggest challenge in West Coast by on field tomorrow night? Yeah, well, they're in ripping Nick. They're second on the ladder, percentage of 150. So it's uh, it's going to be an enormous challenge. Uh, their key forwards are in really dominant form and they've got a really strong midfield. They lost key defenders in the pre-season and yet their, their defence has, uh, has been outstanding. The government stepped up in all Australian form. So they're going to be a great challenge. Uh, you know, we'll have to be at our best. You have to look after them now. Uh, we've got to make sure he doesn't take uh, 12, 12 or 13 intercept marks, which he's done every week. But uh, yeah, we've got some plans in place.